What's going on guys, Milky here, and today I'm going to do a different video actually. I'm not just going to do a speed art and put music over it, like I usually do. What I'm going to do this time is make a comparison type of video. It's going to be about Photoshop and Manga Studio and how they're different and they have their own pros and cons when it comes to drawing and stuff. This is mainly going to be about drawing manga and cartoons, so not actually editing photos. So to start off, I just want to say that I've got bad hay fever, so excuse my block nose or <laughs> any breathing that you might hear. I'm going to go straight into it and say that Photoshop is primarily a photo editing program, which means that it caters for photography and people who want to literally manipulate their photos. So for example, if I had took a picture, I wanted to change the saturation, I wanted to add something to it, Whereas Manga Studio is specifically for creating manga, as it's in the name. Oh, and by the way, before I go on as well, Manga Studio is now called Clip Studio Paint. I'm not sure why they changed the name. I changed my name, so I can't really talk. Clip Studio Paint caters for specifically drawing manga and anime and things like that. Anything like cartoony that you that you see is most likely done with a program such as Manga Studio rather than Photoshop. Though a lot of people do use Photoshop, like a lot of famous artists and stuff like not even famous just it's just more widely recognized which is why I think people do it because Manga Studio is a program that makes it easier it doesn't necessarily give you more capabilities it just makes it a lot easier for the user and I'm sure that you know if you've used Photoshop before because I use Photoshop for most of my A-level photography course and it, it's limitless, literally, you can do anything with it, it's, it's pretty amazing. Photoshop really has the upper hand when it comes to capabilities and what you can achieve with it. Whereas Manga Studio is, it's as I said before, it's specifically for um, drawing manga and anime, so you know what you're doing when you're going in there, with, whereas with Photoshop, you can pretty much do what you want. I'm not saying that Manga Studio limits you, all I'm saying is that Photoshop is more is more um, versatile in what you can actually do with the picture. So I'll give an example, so with me, because I use Photoshop a lot, I do use it for mainly editing photos and as you could probably see on my other videos, I've used it for doing some speed arts like the Neku and so on. So. Upon using Manga Studio, I've noticed a few things. The main difference that I notice is that with the brushes and pens that you get, starting with Manga Studio, they're a lot more user-friendly when it comes to drawing manga. So they give you the thick and thin lines where you need them, they give you the, the right angles, and it's just it's a lot more accessible for people that want to jump in and draw manga straight away. Whereas with Photoshop, you can still do that, you can still achieve the same thing. But the only thing is, you're not going to start off with the brushes right away and different things that you need straight away because, as I said, it's mainly for editing photos. So, what you want to do is maybe download a few brush sets and things like that, but some people don't want to do that. So, <laughs> if you're lazy, Manga Studio is perfect for you. I need to stop calling it Manga Studio, actually. It's Clip Studio Paint. Clip Studio Paint. Clip Studio. Also, another big factor that's probably the main factor actually I should say is the price point. Now I'm aware that some people aren't ready to fork out <laughs> hundreds of pounds for a software such as Photoshop. If you've got Creative Cloud then you know it's a subscription service so it makes it even worse. Manga Studio has without a doubt the upper hand in this situation starting with a price point of 20 pounds like literally 20 pounds here in the UK I think in dollars it'll be about 25 to 30 or something like that. Now, 20 pounds is literally a fraction of what people pay for Photoshop. So, for some people it's a no-brainer. So, if you want to do it for primarily anime and manga, then I'd say definitely go for Manga Studio, if you're trying to decide which one. As I said before, it doesn't hold back with capabilities, it's just so much easier and user-friendly. You're stuck between the two, and then you realise you want to get Photoshop, and then you think, oh boy, I don't have enough money. Go for Manga Studio. I mean, it's a no-brainer for people that want to start off and have like a nice base where everything's there for them and things like that. In fact, you know what? I suggest that people start with Manga Studio rather than Photoshop because 
If you think that you want more from a software such as Manga Studio and stuff, then obviously go for Photoshop. But if you don't, then <laughs> stay with Manga Studio. It's, it's literally simple as because it has everything there that you need for it. It's got all the brushes, the, the pens, the pencils. It's got most of the capabilities of Photoshop, but it's just not as versatile as it. You can't do as much. Yet it still has a lot going for it. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more content from me, and I'll see you in the next one.